you're trying to create that tropical look, then here's five plants to get you started. This is Musa Banju, otherwise known as Japanese banana, and it puts on these massive leaves on a yearly basis. It hasn't taken long, maybe three years, to get from this height to this height. Every year, you're gonna have to bring it into the house, or better still, into a greenhouse to stop the frost from getting to it. But if you've got that luxury, then it's a tropical plant you must have. If you haven't got the space in your house or a greenhouse, then perhaps Tetrapanax will suit you to the ground. This is relatively frost hardy. It's been planted in my garden for three or four years now. And just look at the size of the leaf. It's the biggest leaf in the garden by a long way. And this combines really well with another frost hardy plant. This is Euphorbia mellifera, providing an instant tropical effect. The raindrops sit on the leaves and roll off in the breeze, also known as honey spurge. This, as the name might suggest, pulls in the bees when it's in flower earlier in the year. It's a winning combination. Next to that, we've got another East Asian big leafed plant. This is Polonia tomatosa. And you could nip this out at the top if you wanted to encourage these lower leaves to grow in size. They will get bigger even than the paparifa there. Or if you're looking for height in your border, simply let it grow, keep it in rich soil, and it will put on at least six foot in a year. And the last plant for a tropical garden I'm gonna recommend is Calocasia. This has been grown from a corn-like bulb which started to root about two months ago. It was planted in the compost about five weeks ago. And these big leaves are also known as elephant ears. And perhaps you can see why. This, like the Euphorbia mellifera, catches the rain in the leaves creating a mini reservoir ideal for wildlife. So there's five easy plants you can grow in a small space to create your own tropical garden. Don't forget to subscribe to The Enduring Gardener for more videos like this. If you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week.